Today's podcast is brought to you by our friends over at Smart to Play. Faster than Semantic Ghost, easier than SCCM. Head on over to smartplay.com slash FRD for a free exclusive offer for people listening to this podcast on a Monday. <laughs> your, your video just like this and... That's a good something. Monday. Oh, you're back. I am back. That whole beginning was... Uh... Rough. It was kind of like the last week for me in a in a nutshell. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then here we are. Yes. Paul needs week. a a comfort llama in his house that just <laughs> when it when it detects stress, don't it just spit, leans. Or is that camels? I guess camels. Just leans into the frame every time. I don't Paul's think stressed. llamas are. Yeah, just just slurps on the side <laughs> of my head. Uh, oh, Paul! I had this crazy crazy thing happen last week. I'm sitting there, mm -hmm. you know onboarding at the new job and like I'm catching right. up on things and I'm like Microsoft's talking about start and like why are they talking about a button as it turns out <sighs> yeah I, I like how Microsoft frames things you know <laughs> poorly Microsoft start is like it's like the new feed it's based on AI <laughs> it's just the same thing rebranded in yeah. fact by the way did you notice the one thing they didn't talk about with mm -hmm. this new thing because it's on Android, it's on iOS, mm -hmm. it's on the web, it's in your new tab thing in Edge, it's in the widgets thing in Windows 11, it's mm -hmm. in news and interest in Windows 10, and a sentence. Where is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Native app for Windows. Native app. Yeah. I don't think they're going to update the news app. I think this is the end of it. Yeah. And was the news app a UWP app? It yeah. Was. In fact, the, the 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 news app dates back to Windows 8, and 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 I think there was a sports app and a money app, and they were probably Bing or MSN at that point. But they used to be those, you know, the what do you call them, the landscape uh, panoramic type mm. app that was sort of similar to like Hubs in Windows Phone. Oh yeah, Hubs. No, that's one of the original ones. Yeah, yeah. That that is a a valid. <laughs> A valid point. I just no. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm I, I'm sure the news app can just continue forward. I guess they could just keep you know it's news or whatever. But I think it's notable when you click a link in um, widgets, it doesn't open in news. It opens in mm -hmm. the web browser, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You're gonna get your MSN news shoved down your throat one way or another. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna get a bonus because there's gonna be an uptick in. Um, Usage of that forced That's against right. It's will. like you wouldn't believe it, but MSN has like two billion views a month. It's like, well, yeah. Um, yeah Cortana has three hundred million users, direct, like <laughs> organically, or is it just? Anyway, there's yeah. an edge. I think it's called what's it called? Edge extractor or whatever. There's a utility that fixes this problem. Of course, there's. Because <laughs> why? It just. Anyways, uh, there's an Apple event tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to the phone I'm going to buy. I don't I haven't even seen it. As long as it has a new battery, that's about all that I care about. Um, yeah, it should have a slightly bigger battery. I don't think the cameras are changing too much, but the cameras are great uh, already. And then um, slightly smaller notch, I guess. Uh, yeah, and then so, so here's the interesting one. Suppose as of like Sunday or whatever, word on the street is that the baseline storage requirement is going to be 128 mm -hmm. gigs. Yes, finally. Which so Even I look at my at little pixel is 128. Like the know, thing like, is, is I don't know if I need any more than that. This might be the one. Right. The f oh no, 128 is fine. Because yeah. I looked for, at my phone, is. which I've had for three years, and mm -hmm. I'm just now crossing the 100 gig threshold. And that's... So you must have... What did you buy? An upgrade to... I just what? have a 10s. No, I know. But what was the upgrade at the time? 128 or 256? I think 128. It was 64 yeah. was the baseline, and I went to 128. Okay. Because for a few years now, they're, they're skipping 128, right? It's like 64, 256, 512 or something like that. That might make sense. Anywho, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad so, to see them do this. We'll see uh, the new watch tomorrow, AirPod threes, and I wonder when the this new watch thing's... looks great. Um, but you know, I one day a battery, I just can't see the battery doesn't bother me so much. Like, I mean, this one on my wrist is a four, uh, so it'll be it's over two years old. Yeah, yeah, but I bet if you look at like um, and at what a Series Seven now, probably mm -hmm. I think the big aside from the obvious iPhone 4 style look to it. In fact, probably the same size as an iPhone 4. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it should have much smaller bezels as well, so more screen. Yeah. And I, you know, I mean, honestly, you, you said you have a Series 4, so you've actually had this thing for, what, three years? Yeah. Right? That's, that's And the battery's, that's the battery's still fine. And 10S, same thing, right? Isn't that yeah. both three years now? Yeah, three? I've had, I got them both at the same time. 
the watch battery is actually still fine so i'm not i don't know yeah i don't know yeah. if i'm gonna buy one yet i might that might be like a christmas gift for like because my wife has the same four we bought the watches at the same time so there might be a it's not like you can hand it down yeah i mean you could sell them yeah. probably for 100 bucks or whatever actually maybe more trade it know. in it's the other thing I've never done with my phone either. I got to figure out this trade. Look at look into this because it, especially with an iPhone, it's really easy. You can go to different places. You know, everyone takes iPhones, so you can see what it's worth everywhere. Yeah. And uh, Apple, I don't know this year, but last year certainly Apple had like really good trade in values. In fact, right now because I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, the best trade in value I can get for that, the best value for anything, like from Gazelle, Amazon, mm -hmm. wherever you choose to look, is from Apple. It's actually from Apple. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely looking for you know, for they it. want you to stick with the brand. Right. <laughs> Ease of process here is definitely going to, because usually I just buy one outright and then I sell the old mm -hmm. one, but selling stuff is just such a, yep. it's a racket is the only way yeah. to. No, it's a pen. It's terrible. Yeah. Anyway, I would look, I, I look around, but look to see what you like you do, right now. You could go to the website and be like, I'm going to buy an iPhone 12, whatever it is, mm -hmm. price it out and just see what you get on trade for your current phone. I don't yeah, and then I'm think gonna it's going to change in one day. I know it'll go down. Up, upset on Friday. I'm going to be like, I log in. It's like a hundred. <laughs> you might want to do it as quickly as possible. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's all. So other things you should do quickly as possible is check out this message. I was going to say this message, but I'm talking about it from our friends at Smart Deploy because Smart Deploy enables IT admins to centrally manage PCs from the cloud, push Windows apps and even BIOS updates and security patches to any device anywhere without ever leaving your desk. Get your free exclusive software worth 570 dinero over at you know, smartdeploy.com slash FR. That reminds me, we did mm -hmm. a webinar with those guys a couple weeks ago. Yes, we did. We should, um, is that, that video must be available, right? Online? Yeah, it's on the site. I was a, I believe, a gangbuster one, like in a very positive way, like yeah, so tons I should, of people. I should link to it. I mean, I yeah. should. Yeah, you, know, you were on that. I was on it. That's true. <laughs> it was a little, yeah. felt a little rusty. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I thought it went well. And of course, you know, Smart Deploy is great. That's one of the nice things. Like it's, it's not always the case. Although we've been pretty lucky, I'll say, with sponsorships and, and advertising, uh, direct advertising that, you know, a brand like Spot, uh, Smart Deploy mm -hmm. is like, they're good people and good product and all that stuff. They're very good people over there. I've known them for a long time. Yeah, several years, yeah. You also have, in your mm -hmm. grubby little mitts, Pixel Buds. Are they, are they buddy right they're, they're really good. Are I'm they? probably going to return them. <laughs> um, I know. <laughs> no, this is one of those things, like, I I talk a lot about, like, kind of minimalism and, and mm -hmm. I obviously the ideal is you have a device and it serves multiple purposes and that's great. And it is a weird reality of me that I have three, I call them headphones, like three different sets of headphones, each of which I use for different things. So I always need like noise canceling headphones for flying until this, this year I've used wired Bose noise canceling headphones, like the in-ear type. Um, those are problematic now. So I have Bose earbuds and honestly the noise canceling is unbelievable. But you know, if you compare it like, you know, the pixel bud case to the Bose case, like we can see like, mm -hmm. um, kind of <laughs> spatially, yeah. you see how big it is, but the, the buds themselves are big too. And they're easy to knock out. And, um, I've been, uh, I used to have Samsung, uh, buds plus, I guess, but I had two pairs of those things. I got one really cheap, like with a phone purchase, um, which is why I had two of them, but they both had the same problem. Like eventually one of the year, one of the volume on one side just goes away. And then typically I've been using uh, USB earbuds for uh, USB C earbuds for walking, which I haven't been doing a lot lately because I go to the gym instead. But anyway, the Pixel Buds, I wanted something cheap, something that worked, and they, they're honestly they're great. They're comfortable. It's they're only ninety nine bucks. I, they're they're really nice. The one thing they don't do, which is the thing I now I miss because I've been wearing the Bose at the gym, is there's no noise canceling at all. And when I say mm. no noise canceling, I don't mean there's no passive noise canceling. Normally. You stick something in your ear, and that there's yep. something there just because your ear is blocked. But they actually have holes in it to let your sound through. So, I, I I've only worn them at the gym once so far. I took them on a walk yesterday. I'm going to bring them to the gym again today to be sure. But because weekends tend to be louder at the gym, but there's a cacophony of noise at the gym that I've forgotten about because I've been wearing these Bose things, and they mm -hmm. block the sound is like it just like it goes from airplane noise to nothing. Like it's wonderful. But it's also the type of thing where people walk up to me and they talk to me at the gym. I know a couple of guys there, and it's like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Or, or I see them coming, and I take it out, and it's like, <laughs> all of a sudden, it's really loud. And it's like, I have to say, I'm like, just give me 10 seconds here. i gotta, I got to adjust my ears to the noise. 
So like the bows are one end, they're too much, and these don't. These I guess they'd be safe for walking around in a city or on the street, like mm-hmm. you know. Because um, if I have too much in my ear, like if I'm no, any noise canceling of anything, people will fr- fly by on a bike or a car goes yeah, by, and, or just people just walk, and it scares the hell out of you, you know. Anyway, they're actually great. I, I I'm just they have to solve this particular problem for me, and um, I don't think they block enough. They don't block any sound, you know. Mm-hmm. From what I can tell, I mean, it just doesn't seem to make a. Di- I don't know. It's too bad. Like I kind of. I really like the fit, and that's the toughest thing for me with earbuds of any kind. Um, they seem great, and they don't pop, you know, like the Microsoft ones or the Bose ones. They're just, you know, they're they come out of your ear like you're a character from a '60s Star Trek TV show or something. But I don't know. It's weird because I really do like them, but I think I'm gonna have to send them back. That's how I feel about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that's kind of it, right? We know that. We've got the Apple event this week. We've got right. the Microsoft event. Is that next week? Next week, yeah. I wonder I wonder if Google's going to have a fall event. I mean, they're kind of a... They, are. they have a Pixel event coming up. Oh, do they? Have they already yeah, announced so it? Says, yeah, October. Fantastic. And also, Apple has another event coming up. Oh, that's uh, right. Probably November, but maybe October, November, but for iPad and Mac. So there's mm. going to be a second round of Apple craziness. Yep, yep. That sounds about right. That's what they did last year, too, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So anyways, that's kind of, that's kind of it, I think for this Monday. All right. I'll see you what next Monday. Is that what we're doing now? Every Monday? (laughs) Well, before we chat next, you should definitely go check out our friends over at Smart to Play, a flexible IT solution for the modern workplace. Claim your free offer worth $570 over at smarttoplay.com slash FR.